I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV. On the road again. Okay, there seems to be a little bit of progress here on the double decker going over the Miami River. There's a good chance it might be finished this decade. Let's hope it improves traffic a little bit here on the Dolphin Expressway. We're going to be on the road for almost two months, if all goes according to plan, and leaving Miami on a Saturday morning is always a plus. Less traffic. We are now going north on I-95. The new adventure begins. We're on I-95 North. And uh, by the way, Google should have a towing mode because it always wants me to go on the express lanes and I cannot go on the express lanes while towing. Excuse the mess back there. You know, we're kind of moving certain things to Pelican. In any case, this will be a, about six to seven week uh, a long trip. We're going to the west and uh, today is and tomorrow and for the foreseeable next five days is mostly gonna be uh, you know go 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 except for one or two nights at Pelly Camp first anyway enjoy the ride since I-95 and the turnpike run almost parallel from Miami to Fort Pierce we're going to take I-95 for this portion of the trip and then switch to the turnpike In Jupiter, we finally leave the South Florida metropolitan area, so it is time for our first break. This is the Martin County Rest Area, the first one we encounter going north, and after such a long stretch of uninterrupted city driving, it is a welcome break. Here in Fort Pierce, we're going to top of the tank, that way we avoid the more crowded and expensive service plazas. And with the Loves app, you get 10 cents off. Let me tell you, every little bit helps, especially today. We're getting some pretty strong headwind and our fuel economy is down to 8 miles per gallon. Not good. The Turnpike may be the most boring road in Florida, but it is the most efficient way to get to where we're going. We're gonna drive all the way to its northern terminus, where it merges with I-75. Hmm, I've never seen that approach. I guess it is too tall for a lift. Fort Drum. This is where we usually stop for our first break, when we take the turnpike the whole way. But I'm gonna try and see if we can do the whole turnpike section in one go. I mean, it all kind of looks like this. Oh no, it was going so well. Apparently there was an accident that combined with road construction it is gonna cost us at least another extra hour. So much for our smooth uneventful first day. I don't know what all the fuzz was about because all of a sudden it cleared up. The rest area on I-75 we wanted to stop at seems to be closed so we're going to stop here at the Okahumpka service plaza, the last one in the turnpike. This last section of the trip took a lot longer than we thought anyway. It's coffee time! After that traffic jam, in an espresso. Now joining I-75, refueling once again US 27 alternate, crossing the Suwannee River, and eventually, Pelicamp. It's been a long day.
Well, good morning. It is morning at Pelly Camp. Beautiful, little chilly morning today. Um, let's go grab some breakfast at the local establishment. <laughs> We're going to Walter B's. I believe it is called Crazy Kitten these days, but everybody still calls it Walter B's. The biscuits are so good. I'm gonna grab some steaks for later. Fire. Need some kindling. One branch at a time. One down, many to go. And this is like the crystalline entity. That's raging fire. to the grill, so maybe we'll cook something today. So yeah, I got a new collapsible fire pit. More details about that coming later. Meanwhile, we keep burning stuff up. Tell you what, we should cook those steaks on the new fire pit, which by the way, it is my first time cooking over an open fire. Let's see how they come out. Ooh, they look beautiful so far. Perhaps a little too well done, but still really good. So we decided to get on our e-bikes and visit our friend Carl, Tin Can Carl, on Facebook. And his place is called Rancho del Carl, just a few blocks from Pelicamp. Here's some footage from his security cameras. In case you didn't know, I got this new camera and it's got this nice low light mode that hopefully it looks good. <laughs> let me know, let me know uh, how, how it looks. I mean, it is legitimately dark right here where we are right now. By the way, we got to meet the new neighbor. We, we got a lot done today here. We got to, to ride our, our e-bikes in the neighborhood and uh, yeah, Pelicamp is looking good. I might do a time lapse of the night sky now. And the full moon came out. Well, good morning. Check it out. What a beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky here at Pelicamp and um, we're going into town. We're going into town. There are a couple of. Uh, well, we have to. We have to take our trash, and then there's you know have a late breakfast and do a couple more things, and then today in the afternoon, driving to the west into the sunset. 
Let's go into town, which is a good half hour drive. We're going to stop by one of our favorite places here, the Parkside Cafe. They make great sandwiches and the coffee is good too. It's not very busy at this time of the day. Well, that certainly hit the right spot. Great breakfast burrito actually. few blocks farther into town, right by the courthouse, Johnson's Bakery, very famous locally. It's a long, young clear. Perry is a pretty cool town. I'm glad we decided to buy land nearby. Finally, let's stop off the tank at Walter B's. I mean, Crazy Kitten. Everybody seems to love these solid steps and we love them too when we are at a place like this, you know, belly camp, a perfectly level campground. But sometimes, you know, you are at a rest area and they come out too much. It's almost like having a slide out. And if you happen to, to park next to a curb, it won't work out. You won't be able to, to close your door. Um, and, you know, they require um, uh, adjusting and whatnot. So for this particular trip, we're going back to our trusty stepping stool that we used uh, on the trip to Alaska. And when we come back to Pelican, we might put back the, the, the solid steps. So let's get to it because time is really getting away from us today. We're going to New Orleans. Also, this operation is very simple here. First, we have to remove the threshold, which is three screws. And then the, the ladder itself is, uh, I believe it's 10 screws, uh, 10 screws, five and five. So let's get to it. And excuse the fact that it is a little dirty here. You know, we are in Pelican, but it's all sand. So it's very easy to track that stuff in. Or very difficult not to track it in. <laughs> so the threshold, here we go. That's very easy. Now we just remove our, our 10 other screws. On the road again, and it is a good opportunity to record a new intro. Going west. Cue the music. Driving to the west, into the sunset. And we're gonna be driving to the west for a while.
Let's take a break, and it doesn't always have to be a gourmet dinner, sometimes a frozen TV dinner will suffice, using our inverter. We're about to cross the Apalachicola River, which is of great significance. Why is that, you might ask? Well, we are entering the central time zone. We've gained one hour. Ooh, there seems to be a fire. And it looks pretty bad and very close to the interstate. To make a long story short, we're going to spend the night at a town called the Phoniac Springs. The Walmart seems to be RV friendly. While filling up, we ran into viewer Larry Webster of the Facebook group RV Fanatics. Check it out. Yeah, I think this is where we're gonna do it. This is the Phoniac Springs Walmart Supercenter. Seems to be RV friendly. And tomorrow we'll continue driving to the west. It's a brand new day. I love driving to the west in the morning with the sun right behind me. And it is such a beautiful morning at that. About an hour into our drive, we reach Escambia Bay. On the other side, a town called Pensacola. One of these days we'll visit. And now we're saying goodbye to Florida for about six weeks if all goes well. And hello to sweet home Alabama. Welcome to Alabama. Oh, thank you, sweet home Alabama. Now approaching Mobile. Alabama didn't get a whole lot of coastline when they were drawing the state lines, so a few minutes later we are in Mississippi, the birthplace of America's music. We're going to stop at the Welcome Center and cook us some breakfast. It's gonna be bacon and eggs this morning. I've got some king oyster mushrooms. We're going to add some Santa Maria style seasoning. Beautiful color. We've got some dehydrated veggies that Lily and Mike sent us. They're on Facebook, Willow Tom Freeze Dried, if you want to get some delicious freeze dried goodies. It is going to be like a frittata of sorts. We're going to add some Gouda cheese on top, some cayenne pepper to give it a little kick. And I did put some of that Santa Maria seasoning when I was beating the eggs. Well, let that cheese melt and maybe a little pico de gallo at the end. Well, it's gonna be breakfast at the rest area. I hope it's good. It look good. Now, these mushrooms are harder than I remember. Mmm. We took a long break here at the Mississippi Welcome Center, had late breakfast. By the way, Mississippi, 
the birthplace of America's music. Here we are, and uh, and Mississippi is really a narrow, you know, this coastal area. It's like just uh, 20 miles or so. So we're gonna be in Louisiana soon, and uh, and yes, we're going to New Orleans, and we've never stayed at this particular RV park, RV resort. Actually, I misspoke. Mississippi does have a little bit of a coastline, about 80 miles in total. These Mississippi Welcome Centers, by the way, very nice, both uh, eastbound and westbound. They have like nice picnic area where you can potentially even overnight with the RV. Uh, they have dump stations. Uh, yeah, very cool. By the way, as smooth as I-10 was back in Florida, not as smooth here in Mississippi. <laughs> you know, everything is give and take, right? Into the sunset, drive into the west. Drive into the west. Into the sunset, drive into the west. Whoever does marketing for Bucky's has a great sense of humor. They are already advertising the one in Baytown, Texas, 366 miles away. We're either gonna stop at that one or the one in Katy. And just like that, we're crossing into Louisiana. Drive into the west, into the sunset, drive into the west. Now crossing part of Lake Pontchartrain. Drive into the west, into the sunset, drive into the west. There it is skyline of the Central Business District and we're gonna be staying at the French Quarter RV Resort which is very centrally located in fact walking distance to Bourbon Street and most of the French Quarter attractions By the way, the folks who run this RV resort, some of the nicest we've ever met. And I know, this was kind of a short one, but I'm going to save the big easy for the next episode. I think it deserves it. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and see you on the road. Riding in my